Hey there, Cosmic Explorers. Welcome back to another mind-blowing episode of our journey through the stars. Today, we're diving headfirst into the phenomenon of February 29th, better known as Leap Day. Buckle up as we uncover the cosmic science behind Leap Days and why they're absolutely essential to keeping our calendar in sync with Earth's revolutions around the Sun picture this. The Earth, spinning on its axis, orbiting around the Sun. It's a dance of cosmic proportions, but here as the kicker in astronomical year is actually slightly less than 365 and a quarter days long. Yeah, mind-blowing, right? Without some clever adjustments, our calendars would slowly drift out of sync with the natural cycles of our planet, like the changing of seasons. That s where leap days swoop in to save the day. Leap days, or sometimes even whole leap months, are like cosmic tune-ups for our calendars. They're inserted to bridge the gap between our human-created calendars and the physical realities of the solar system. Take the historic Julian calendar, for example. It featured three regular years of 365 days, followed by a leap year of 366 days, thanks to extending February to 29 days. But wait, there is more. The Gregorian calendar, the big player on the global stage, fine-tuned this system even further. Now, Every leap year has 366 days instead of 365, with the extra day falling in years divisible by 4, except those divisible by 100 but not 400. Phew, that has some calendar gymnastics. But hold on to your telescopes, folks, because there is more to this cosmic tale. Other calendars, like the Hebrew, Solar Hydri, and Baha'i calendars, have their own unique ways of keeping time in check. From adding leap months to slipping in an extra day, these calendars ensure that the new year lines up perfectly with the March equinox. Ever wonder where the term leap year comes from? Well, it's all about the leapfrogging of days in the week following leap day. Talk about time hopping. And let us not forget about those occasional leap seconds added to coordinated universal time to keep Earth's wonky rotation in check. Unlike leap days, leap seconds aren't as predictable, making them a real cosmic wildcard. But hey, it's not all stargazing and cosmic revelations. Leap years can throw a wrench in our digital gears, causing what we call the leap year bug. Imagine your computer thinking it's 1900 instead of 2000. Yikes. So, next time you're flipping your calendar and come across February 29th, take a moment to appreciate the cosmic dance happening behind the scenes. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the cosmic love. This is Zinder bidding farewell. Stay tuned for more celestial wonders, and, until next time, keep looking up.